Up then, we forgot to intro this video. Uh, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video. I told y'all I was gonna upload another video this week. Um, you know what I'm saying? Gotta keep that consistency. You know, if I'm trying to really grow on YouTube and stuff. But uh, as you can see, we got the car in the air. Um, and uh, we are getting ready to do an oil change. All right, so first things first, if your car is low like mine, um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to jack your car up and put it on jack stands like mine is right here. And how I did this was with this center jack point right there. So you can see the exhaust, or the exhaust is right there right in the middle of the subframe right there um is a jack point that's um honda approved that jack point it's literally in the fucking the owner's manual um but yes that is the jack point just jack it up from the middle and then throw your jack stands at the sides right there um there will be little like tabs right there real you'll, you'll know where to jack it up if you look at the side um, so yeah once your car's in the air you're good to go um right now i am just waiting for my car to cool down because i actually did just drive it and wash it um and uh yeah so while we're doing that let me actually show you guys everything you're gonna need all right so boom this is everything you're really gonna need um so first things first you are going to need a 3 8 ratchet um for this oil filter wrench right here um this one's fit specifically on this filter um you know just obviously it's just easier to get the filter off uh because the location on the the oil filter location on this car is kind of annoying so i just i bought this one from walmart for like it was like five bucks um but yeah this requires a 3 8 inch ratchet obviously you're gonna need an oil filter wrench um you can use another one if you'd like but that's just the one i prefer um and then moving on you are going to need a 17 millimeter wrench or ratchet whatever you prefer uh, for the drain bolt you're going to need, this is the oil filter size for this car. And then last but not need, least, the most important thing, you're going to need gonna need your oil. This is the oil I use, your W20. It's what they ask for on these cars, as you can see on the oil cap. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all you're going to need. It's really easy. Honestly, this will probably take me like 20 minutes at the most. Um, the longest part is really just letting the car cool down, but... I already, I already have it in the air and it's it's whatever so once your car is cool you are now ready to drain your oil through your drain plug right here so like i said that is a 17 millimeter bolt or yeah drain plug whatever it's called um so you're gonna need a 17 millimeter wrench let me break this open and uh grab the 17. All right, so once you got your 17 mil wrench um, on the drain bolt, it's pretty self-explanatory. Just break it loose. I'm gonna do that and then pick this up when uh, I do that. All right, y'all, so finally broke it loose. I ain't gonna lie, rookie mistake. I was low-key tightening this whole time instead of loosening. It's almost there. This is the most stressful part. Oh shit. I'm gonna have so much fucking oil on my phone. Anyways, so I got all the oil drained out. Um, and I put the drain plug back in so I don't forget. And now we are going to move on to the oil filter. So I already loosened mine a little bit with the wrench, the 3 8 wrench. But now what you're gonna do is line up your pan with your, you're gonna wanna line up your pan with your oil filter and slowly start loosening it so i was trying to show you guys but uh yeah so there's gonna be oil in here as you're loosening god damn that's still hot um yeah just be ready for it this is gonna make a mess um what you're just gonna trick is just slowly remove it my arm's tired Oh. 
This is a really annoying video to film. Being under the car. Once you get your filter off, I don't know if you guys can, can even see. Once you get your filter off, um, open your new filter. Your new filter right here. Um, you're gonna wanna grab some of the old oil in that O-ring. You're just gonna wanna lube it up a little bit. Um, you can use the new oil if you like, um, but I mean, there's no point. This oil's right here. So make sure that's lubed up good. Um, just so it doesn't stick to the oil filter housing or whatever it is on there and um, it doesn't uh, what do you call it it doesn't stick and it doesn't like slip off then you'll have an oil leak um, so now it's good practice what you want to do is just fill this up fill this up like I would say like halfway with new oil um, as you can see there's oil in there oil in there oil around this thing it's it's fine. Um, so now you're just gonna wanna screw this back in, hand tight, don't tighten it, don't over tighten this, please. Um, and then uh, you should be good to go. Go to, get to the next step. All right, y'all, so I apologize for the dirty camera, but um, yeah, once you got your oil filter back on and your drain plug back in, you're pretty much good to go. Um, just make sure to put this cover back on. I know I'm missing two of the three Three, uh, the three little fastener things that go there um i've lost all of them i don't even know where the hell they went but um yeah so now what you're gonna want to do is fill your oil so this car takes 3.7 quarts of oil um which is kind of annoying to gauge all right y'all so i got my little funnel don't mind the little oil i spilled back there on the intake manifold i'm gonna clean that up all right so now that there is oil in the car um it is safe to start even if it's not the correct amount um what I'm going to do is I'm going to jack the car up, take it off the jack stands, uh, take the wood from underneath, and then start it, run it for like 30 seconds, and then check the dipstick for the oil level. The um, reason you do that is just because you still have to fill the rest of the filter and, you know, obviously let the oil cycle through the rest of the car. So, all right, so boom, that's how you do an oil change, man. Um, so I started the car, checked the oil. It was pretty much good where it was at. Um, good way to check your dipstick is if you can't tell the, the oil level from this side, flip it over and it gives you a clearer reading. Don't know why, I don't know the science behind it, but it works for me. So it'll probably work for you. I don't know why Honda used this dumbass dipstick and not a regular one like every other car I've had, but at least not an electronic dipstick where you don't even have a dipstick and you have to go into the car and actually start it first. But um, yeah, that's how you do oil, your oil change. Just make sure you're cap is tight make sure your oil filter and uh drain bolt are tight and uh you are good to go man all right y'all so um i didn't actually put this in i forgot but um this is actually how you reset your maintenance um you know whatever maintenance pass to light um so what you're gonna want to do is go to settings you're gonna go down to vehicle and then down to maintenance info and then you should be able to um you should be able to reset it. So I already did the, the tire rotation and brake fluid. Um, the, I actually just got one of my calipers replaced. So they um, obviously did the uh, the brake fluid for me. Um, the tire rotation, I already did that. Um, so you're gonna be able to reset each of these. Um, you're gonna be able to reset all of these uh, individually. But um, so we already did oil and filter, we did that. So as you can see, now the, the light went away, came off the dash, um, and uh, you should be able to reset whatever you need to reset in here, like I already did. And uh, yeah, so that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, going to keep bringing the content. I don't know what video is next, but um, we are going to keep bringing the content. I do want to start doing a few more things to this car next month. Um, you know what I'm saying? Once these funds come in. So uh, yeah. Um, I will see you guys in whatever the next video may be. I appreciate you guys for watching. Peace.